Hello, my name is David Byte. I'm a Senior Storage Solutions Architect here at AWS. Today we're going to talk about copying data to a Snowball Edge device using the S3 interface. To make this happen, there's a few steps we need to follow. First, we need to get the access keys. Then, for utilities that require the profile, such as the AWS CLI and S5 CMD, we need to configure the AWS CLI profile. The next step is to tune the AWS config file for those utilities that use that profile and then perform the copy. Now to perform the copy there are several utilities you can use. AWS Ops Hub, AWS CLI 1.16.14, newer versions may not work correctly with the Snowball Edge device. And then there are other utilities that are unsupported by AWS such as S5 CMD, the MinIO client and many others. So let's just jump straight into doing our copy process. So the first thing we need to do is to get our access keys. Now assuming you've already unlocked the device either with Ops Hub or the Snowball Edge CLI, in Ops Hub you would come in, click the device, and simply click download access keys. And this will download a file called IAM-secret that we can then view. You can see we have a access key ID and a secret access key. You can also use the Snowball Edge CLI to do the same thing. Now this is using the same profile that Ops Hub would use. So we're going to issue the Snowball Edge list access keys command using that profile. Now this will take just a moment but it's going to return the same access key ID that we got in the IAM secret file. The following step is to issue the get secret access key for that particular access key with the Snowball Edge CLI command. So we'll issue that command. You see we will get the exact same secret access key that we have above. Now that we have our access keys, the next step is to configure the AWS CLI profile. So we will do that with the AWS configure command, two dashes, profile, and then the profile name we want. In this case, SBE-NFS1. So the access key ID is right here. So we'll paste that in. And then it wants the secret access key. Again, we'll paste that in. The region name, you can leave it none. And then the output format, I'm leaving it none, though I normally use JSON myself. Now that we have a profile, we need to edit that profile. So we'll edit the AWS config file, which is in your home directory, followed by .aws and then config. You can see we have our profile section here for profile SBE-NFS1. We're going to copy these values from my sample section into here. And what these options do is the first one, we set the max concurrent request to 30. That's 30 threads running for the copy job, 30 connections. Next is the max queue size. This is how many subsequent items it has in the queue. Next is the multi-part threshold. This is the point at which it breaks the file into chunks. And then you have the multi-part chunk size. Well, in this case, we actually want the multi-part chunk size to be a little larger to take advantage of the 10 gigabit network we have effectively. So we'll set that to 64 megabytes to match the threshold, um, at which point it's gonna start breaking into chunks. So if it's 128 megs, you have two chunks and so on. So let's save that. And now from our command line, the next thing that we can do is issue an ls command to verify that everything is working. So here is our AWS S3 ls command. We're going to point it to an endpoint. You can see we're pointing to an HTTP endpoint which is port 8080. HTTPS is port 8443. Again, 
we're using that profile command, SBE NFS1. So we hit enter on that. You can see we show my bucket. That is the bucket that I have associated with this Snowball Edge job. You could have multiple buckets, but I only have one. You can see the same information, by the way, by going into Ops Hub, going services, S3, and under buckets, you can see the bucket that's there. So let's start a copy. Now we're gonna start this and it's gonna run uh, for a while if we use the AWS CLI. So we won't start with that one, but we are gonna start with the S5 CMD. Now S5 CMD utilizes the AWS profile variable. Now you can see I'm in PowerShell. So we're gonna issue the command to set the AWS underscore profile variable to SBE NFS1. And next we will issue our S5 CMD command. You can see we have the double dash endpoint dash URL pointing to the HTTP endpoint. We're issuing the CP command copy and we're telling it we're copying this file into using S3 into my bucket into a prefix inside that bucket. So let's issue the command. And you can see over here on our network activity that we are ramping up rapidly. You can see we're pushing at the top end around a gigabit right now. So pretty effective copy. So let's abort that. And we'll see our rate drop off. All right, our multi parts have finished. Let's do the same thing with the AWS S3 command. Now you'll notice that the copy speed is a bit lower using AWS S3 CP. That's because on Windows, the AWS CLI does not multi-thread effectively. Hence the reason for alternative copy utilities like S5 CMD. You can see we're maxing out under 400 megabits right now. And we'll just let that run. The other way you can copy is to go in through Ops Hub, again, going to File and Object Storage, your service for S3, clicking on your bucket, and you can upload. So in this case, we'll go to Upload. We'll go to our iDrive, this folder, and we'll get that exact same file. And you can see that our copy job is already progressing quite well using Ops Hub. But you also have the ability here to cancel your transfer. And that's how you copy files to your Snowball Edge device. Thank you for watching this video.